Hi, and welcome. You're listening to the X-22 Report. My name is Dave, and this is episode 1,433 AN. Today's date is November 26, 2017, and the title of the episode is The Central Banks Are Ready to Make a Move on Gold. It's not what you think. Now, before I get started, I just want to make an announcement. I placed a new interview on the X-22 Report Spotlight YouTube channel. It's with Brandon Smith. So if you go over to YouTube, you just type in X-22 Report Spotlight, you can see the interview and play it on YouTube, or you can come over to the x22report.com or newsentinel.com site, scroll down a little bit, look over to your right-hand side, you can play the interview right on the site, or go to steamit, steamit.com forward slash at X-22 Report, and you can play the interview on steamit. Let's get into the economic collapse financial news. Now, as we know, this holiday season is most likely going to be a complete disaster. But we see the corporate media, they are out there, and they're saying that sales on this Black Friday are incredible. They even have spokesmen coming out from Macy's and all the other department stores telling us how great it is and how the crowds are just coming in, and it's just amazing. They even have headlines on the corporate media saying with expectations low retailers see victory on black friday and they're trying to make everyone believe that things are going really well and they're even saying that the online sales are doing incredible if they've done the best they've ever done now remember online sales is 10 percent. even if they go up to 15 percent and they bring in another billion the retail business is a trillion dollar business they're misleading you because they're not telling you the entire picture But when you look at the actual physical store traffic, the people that are actually coming into the stores on this Black Friday, it was down anywhere from 4 to 6%. And they're trying to convince us that things are getting better. This is an illusion. They're continuing with the illusion. They want you to believe that this is really happening. And when the real numbers start to really come out and you start to see other stores close, and we we predicted this back last year, during the holiday season when the corporate media was out there telling you that everything was going to be great how many stores closed down how many people lost their jobs how many people how many stores went bankrupt i mean it was a disaster this is why they called it the retail apocalypse what are they going to call it this time it's going to be a complete nightmare we see out in spain spain's third biggest lender just launched a pilot project in madrid What are they going to do? Well, they're going to limit cash services. Their branches are going to be open uh, less than three hours a day from 8.15 a.m. to 11 a.m. And they will allow people to do cash operations. All other times, you will not be able to do this. Now, this is not the first bank in Spain that is trying out such a scheme, but it is the biggest. Spain's fourth largest lender, the part stain owned Bankia has removed all cash services from his selected branches. Now, again, what are they trying to do here? They're trying to stop a bank run when these banks completely implode. This is why the central banks in Europe are trying to get rid of that safety net of where your where the deposits are insured. They're saying, oh, we don't need to insure deposits anymore. Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep all the funds in the bank. They don't want to have any type of bank runs whatsoever. And getting rid of cash, they believe in their mind, this will stop it. But we can see right now that they're going to have a very tough time implementing all of this. Yes, they're going to try. They're going to push this forward. And this tells us they already know that this system is dying. Now, the central bankers, they've been manipulating gold for a very long time. They've been keeping the gold price very low. And at the same time, and we talked about this before in other reports, China and Russia, they have been purchasing a huge amount of gold. India has been purchasing a lot of gold. A lot of the BRIC nations have been purchasing a lot of gold. And again, the corporate media and the rest, the Fed, all the central banks are telling us how we don't need gold. Now, we need to go back to the Great Depression and think about what happened then when people owned gold and it was valued at $20 an ounce and all of a sudden, The government needed the gold and they gave you paper dollars for the gold and all of a sudden they revalued the gold at $35 an ounce. Now think about this. The BRIC countries comprising of Brazil, Russia, India, and China and South Africa, they're mulling right now the possibility of creating a unified system of gold trade, both within BRICS and at the level of the bilateral contacts. 
the tradition what they're saying is the traditional trade system based in london and partially in swiss cities is becoming less relevant as new trade hubs are emerging first of all in india china and south africa now according to the central bank official on the basis of this unified system it is possible to create new benchmarks in the future now the question is what is going on here well we know the Bank of Russia purchased around 6 million ounces, which is almost 187 tons of gold, within 10 months in 2017. And they've been purchasing a lot of gold in the past. We know that China has been doing, this, doing the same thing. We know that India has been purchasing gold. They have a lot of gold. And many other countries have been doing the same. Now, they've been buying the gold at a very, very low price. And they've been hoarding it. Now, remember, the central banks, they don't care where they set up shop. They don't care about a country. They don't care about a people. They only care about profit and their system, their system of debt. And to start a new system, they need gold. Why do they need gold? Because they need everyone to believe that this is going to be based on a stable system and it's backed by something of value, which is gold. And what the central bankers do and what they've been allowing the countries of China and Russia to do, and they're still kind of, well, China is controlled by the central banks. Russia, Putin did take over their central bank, but it's all really part of the same system because it looks like the central banking system is setting up shop in China. Now, they've been keeping the gold level very, very low. So China and Russia and the rest of the BRIC nations can continually purchase gold at this very low price when the system new system comes online and when we had go through this big reset they're going to do what they did back in the great depression they're going to revalue the gold they're going to revalue the gold much higher now if i remember correctly i discussed this with lewis camisano on one of our interviews where he said that china would not have enough gold unless they revalued it much much higher and then he could see the possibilities of gold being something that they can use to back the system. And it looks like this is what they might be trying to do right now, where they're looking to create this whole new gold trading system, benchmark gold completely different than it is today. And the value of gold, and we've been saying this for a very long time, if we used the old calculation methods, it is not 1500 it is not 1200 it's not $1,000 an ounce. It is much, much higher, more like seven, eight, nine, maybe even higher than that. And once they do this, everything will change. And those people holding gold, just like back in the Great Depression where they were holding gold, they decided, you know what, I'm not going to take the paper dollars. I'm going to keep my gold. I'm going to hide it and say, hey, I don't have any. All of a sudden, one day they had $20 an ounce, and the next day they had $35 an ounce. Now, can you imagine those people still holding gold where they had, what, 1100 1200 1500 1900 whatever they purchased it at an ounce, and all of a sudden now it's worth eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 an ounce. And you can see this is where we are moving into right now because they understand that the system is about to reset. They understand that everything is in place now. And this is not something that just happened yesterday. They've been planning on this for a very long time. This is why they moved manufacturing out of the United States over to China and other Asian nations. This is why they moved the trading system, the swift payment system. They duplicated all of this over in the other countries because they've been preparing for this for a very long time. Now, if they've been preparing that what it means is you need to prepare. And those people that have been buying silver, those have been buying gold, those have been buying other precious metals, maybe junk silver. In the end, you will protect your wealth. Think about it. All those people that purchased cryptocurrency when it was, say, Bitcoin or Litecoin or the others, let's just use Bitcoin, that when it when it was at 200, 250, 500,000 and everyone said, oh, it's in a bubble, it's going to pop and you're going to lose all your money. Well, look what it, look, look where it is today. I mean, you can cash out right now and you're fine. The same thing with gold. It's about to happen. 
Many people don't see it. Many, many people are still believing that gold is not worth anything. Everything is all crypto. And I don't believe it's just one thing. I believe that you need to have all of this because we're coming into a time period where things are going to get very, very crazy and you need to be prepared and ready. And I'm not saying it just with gold or silver or cryptocurrencies. I'm saying it with food because when you see inflation, I'm saying with water, medical supplies, medicines, uh, a weapon, you need all of this batteries lanterns you name it you need it because we don't know what we're going to experience when we go through this reset and this is one of the largest resets that we've ever seen and this is according to brandon smith that something that we've never seen before we're about to go through so you need to be ready and prepared for what is coming listen everyone thanks a lot for listening be well be safe and especially be prepared thanks a lot